Hello adventurers! In this video, I'll go through the super basic way you can take the public transportation in Singapore. It's one of the cheapest ways to get around the city and it's ranked one of the best in the world. At the end of this video, you'll be super clear on how to get on and off the bus and train in Singapore. So, let's begin! Do you have a credit card? The super basic way to pay here is to just use your credit card directly. All train and bus payment in Singapore takes Visa and Mastercard. You can even use Apple Pay. Otherwise, you can also get a cash card that's known as the EasyLink card. You can get them at any bus interchange or train station counter. You will need to top up the card using these machines. Just put your EasyLink card on the reader, then insert money or tap your card to top it up. Beware that you need at least $3, otherwise you'll get an error beep 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 at the gantry. Then the door won't open and the bus driver might kick you out. For super basic navigation, I recommend getting a device with internet access and let Google Maps do most of the work. It works 90% of the time. Let's start with how to navigate when taking the bus. First, get to the bus stop that Google Map tells you about. And make sure you're at the right bus stop. Just look out for this pole with a lot of numbers. These are the bus numbers that comes to this bus stop. So you want to make sure the bus number you're waiting for exists on that pole there. Also make sure you're going in the right direction. Look out for these info boards where you can see the bus and where they're going. You can see all the stations that the bus will stop at. Cross-check if your destination is in the list. Another super helpful feature here is these icons. This indicates that a train station is very near to that stop. The color indicates which train line it is. It's super helpful when you're trying to get to a train station. Once all is good, wait for the bus. The bus doesn't follow a specific schedule. On average, waiting time is about 10 to 15 minutes. When your bus arrives, give the driver a friendly wave. Pay attention to this, especially if you're the only one at the bus stop. Because if you don't wave, the bus might just drive by and skip your stop. Next, get onto the bus. Tap your card at the reader and greet the captain. Look out for this yellow red stop button that you can find all around the bus. When you're one stop away from your intended stop, press it. A bell will ring and the bus stopping sign will light up. Remember to tap your card at the exit gantry, else you'll be charged the maximum fare. I hope you managed to get off the right stop. Now, let's touch on trains. The trains in Singapore are also locally known as the MRT. It's a large network of train lines that could look very intimidating the first time you see it. But don't be afraid, I'll teach you how to read this train map. After learning how to read this, you can go anywhere on the MRT line. Each of these coloured lines represents a train service, and each label along it is a station. Where the lines intersect with a label, there's a station that will allow you to transfer from one line to another. I'll cover that in a bit. Once you get to your train station, tap your card to enter through the gantry. Then, find the right train platform to get to your destination. The train platform will have signs to tell you which direction it is going. It will display the name of the station at the end of the line. For example, on this green line, you will see the direction towards Tuas Link and in the opposite platform, towards Pasiris or towards Changi Airport. There's always this line map on the platform for you to check which station you're at and which stations the train will go. The train does not run on a schedule. The average waiting time is around 3 to 10 minutes. Once you arrive at your destination, get off the train. Then tap out of the gantry and look out for the super useful locality map. Here, you can find out about all the station exits and the places of interest around the area. I usually look at this to find out which exit to get out from so that I will be nearer to my destination. Now, back on the topic of transferring, sometimes you need to change bus or change train to get to your final destination. For changing bus, it's very simple. Just get off the bus station where you can take your next bus at. When you are changing train, you need to make sure you stop at the train station that has a connecting line. For example, if you are in Kent Ridge, 
going to Chinatown, you'll need to get onto the yellow line to Harbourfront, then change to purple line to get to Chinatown. When transferring between train lines, you don't have to get out of the station. You just have to get off the train onto the platform and then follow the signboards that will lead you to your next train line. There's one exception. If you're taking the dark blue downtown line, you might still need to get out of the train station to get to the next platform where you can take your next train. The best part about transfer is that your fare is calculated by the distance traveled. So you don't have to pay extra if you change from bus to train and vice versa. Congratulations! You can now go anywhere in Singapore via the public transport. If you're looking for a great place to visit in Singapore, come with me to Bird Paradise. I'll see you there.